Hi, I'm Chris from the Carrington Jungle, and today I'm going to show you how we're setting up our new well system. Okay, when we started this garden a couple years ago, we were lucky enough to find an old well that was on the property. I'm not sure if it was the uh, well for the house, because it was built in 1960 and that's what they used, or if somebody had put in an irrigation well. But it is a one and a quarter driven stainless steel um, well. It goes down 20 feet and you hit water at about five or six. Um, and it was adequate, maybe four or five gallons a minute, so we could use it. Um, however, um, over the summer, it has started sucking a lot of sand, and we think it's compromised down below where the screen is. So we're going to install um, a new well today. Our goal is to put um, two one and a quarter PVC shafts down about 28 feet, with eight foot of screen on each one. If it goes well, we might throw another down, um, but it should give us at least four times the capacity. Um, I'll walk you through everything we're doing today and the tips I've hopefully found, um, and we'll see how it goes. But, all right, here we go. Okay, so we're going to be drilling our well using a two-inch pump we got from Harbor Freight, which is right here. Uh, Gas-powered, um, and is our water source. I got a pool on Black Friday at Amazon for like 30 bucks. It's taking forever to fill and not working out very good. It also said don't do it on a sloped ground, and that's what we did. So it's supposed to hold about a thousand gallons. Hopefully it will, um, but we're waiting on that to fill. We've got our suction hose, our discharge hose here. Um, once we get set up, I'll show you back in the corner, but we'll drive our parallel wells back there and hopefully not hit any roots. Um, and then for our drill pipe, we're using two inch PVC pipe. We've got three sections. Um, we cut about a foot or so off of one just to make our drill head, which I'll show you. Um, but the bottom pipe, the first one will sink, is no fitting on the bottom, cut to a 45 degree bevel here. Um, so it doesn't uh, attach on anything, and then we've got a male pipe thread attached to the other one. Um, the middle pipe is going to be male head on one, female two inch pipe thread on the other, and the final one is male pipe thread on the bottom, female, or no, female on the bottom, male pipe thread on the top, and then we will screw. Um, a two inch female thread onto each section as we go and then we've got this fitting here um, to attach and tighten down to whichever pipe we're drilling at the time so we'll be running it drill the first one down kill the water uh, add the next section of pipe um, turn it back on sink that 10 feet turn it off add the next section of pipe um, turn it off and at that point we should be able to drop our well screen down the shaft and pull out the pipe, in theory. Um, then for our drill head, uh, it's just a two inch T, um, little bits of PVC added to it. We've got a female pipe thread on one to connect to that discharge hose on the pump, capped on one side, and then just two inch pipe coming down, which we can quickly and connect and disconnect here, um, which will attach to our um, drill pipe and then there's a small hole on the top uh, It's gonna spray water everywhere, but it'll keep it from building pressure and bursting this as we're going up and down If there's air pockets or whatever so um, Everything is pretty much set to start drilling. It's just waiting on the pole to fill up also the plug wasn't in it So that took a while um, Our well screens are here. They're just cheap one and a quarter PVC Bradley point wells. Got them at Ace. You can see the little slats that keep water from getting in there. Um, 
this we got from Supply House. It's made to go under your AC um, for your house, but we'll set the pump up on that so we've got a nice solid surface because the old pump was on a piece of pallet and is rotting out and didn't work very well. Um, over here we have all of our pipe for attaching to the well screen and starting to plumb everything up. Um, and then on the table we have all of our fittings. Hopefully we've already been back to these twice today to get all the stuff we'll need, but hopefully that will do it. But that's pretty much what we have and the process we're going to use. Um, but we'll film how it goes and if there will be problems and you cannot make those same mistakes. Uh, but that's it for now. Alright, so we have our pool kind of filled up. Um, we've got all our hoses hooked up. And we've got our first piece of drill stem hooked to the drill head we made. Um, and we started like a little two-foot hole just kind of marking where we're going to put in the wells. So at this point, um, we're going to fire it up and we'll drill the first section down to about 10 foot. Turn it off, pull the head, attach the next pipe, drill it 10 more feet, kill the pump, add the next piece, and add, drill it down to 28 foot, hopefully. First pipe is sunk 10 foot down. We'll take off our head. We've got a male pipe adapter on the end of this. I need my channel locks. Just a second. So don't over tighten down the joints. Just don't twist the pipes back and forth too much and it'll stay on. Um, that was really hard to get off. But we've got this uh, female end we're going to keep adding um, after we add our next piece of drill pipe. <gasps> so we've got a male thread coming out. Female thread will attach to it. That's probably yeah, plenty tight enough. Um, then we throw our adapter back at the top. Tight. An eight foot ladder would also be nice.
Now we're ready to drill our next 10 feet. smoking so we just are gonna say good enough right there um, also we changed the design of this we added an elbow and the hose hangs straight down and it puts a lot less pressure on the joint um, but so this right here is the top of 29 foot of pipe plus it after so honestly it could be about 30 so we're 27 in um, I've got two four foot well screens stacked with an inside coupler attached to a 10 foot pipe we'll drop that down hold it glue another 10 foot on drop it the rest of the way and then pull the casing out and the ground will collapse around the small pipe and hold it in place all right so at this point we are about 28 feet in the ground just a little short of that um, we're hitting hard clay, but just like the other well we just drilled, um, it's deep enough to get the well screen uh, 20 foot underground, so we'll be fine there. Um, once you get to your target depth, take off your drill head. Um, I've got, like I said, two well screens, double stacked, so eight foot of well screen, and then a 10 foot pipe attached to that. So we'll drop that down the shaft. Um, and then we'll have to glue on another 10 foot well screen and be careful um, not to drop it because at this point it is not long enough and it would just go down and you couldn't get it um, so this you could either use a pipe clamp to hold it while you glue your connection or you have a helper to hold it um, and we can feel we're floating, we're in water now, which is awesome. Um, and you have to use inside couplers um, on the one and a quarter pipe. Uh, the outside connectors won't fit. Um, 
through the two inch pipe. Gotta let it set up for a minute or two. While this sets up, a couple things that we uh, would suggest through trial and error. Uh, once you get to the bottom, 
um, and it's time to change a section of or add a section of pipe. Uh, let the water run and work it up and down a little bit first to kind of clear out the shaft. Uh, once we drove straight down, killed the engine, attached another one, and we, we created like a suction as the sand caved in on it. Uh, so just clear it out real good between uh, adding sections. And then um, when you're adding sections and all that too, uh, we bought plumber's grease to put on the threads. Use a lot of it. It makes getting the pipe sections off a lot easier. Otherwise, you're struggling. And when you're torquing on the uh, pipes when you've got 20 foot underground and a seam already down there, it could get leaks. So um, I think we went through a, just about a tube per well. Uh, so well worth the dollar or two. Okay, this, this is good. So, glue up your joint, let it um, set up, and then just drop it the rest of the way down your shaft. Goodbye. All right, and then slowly um, back out your two inch pipe, making sure you don't pull the one and a quarter out because the sand's gonna collapse around it uh, and it'll hold it in place, but you'll have a big hole for a while. Um, but then once you get to uh, a spot where you can get to your joints, again, this is much easier with two people. I would not want to try it by myself. Um, grab that. And this is where that uh, grease comes in handy. Uh, Also, at this point, don't drop these, because if it falls down, it'll cover your wall screen, and there's really no way to get it back. Um, okay. But you just back out. Two sections, and then there's our last section with beveled bottom. Um, and yeah, this one's maybe six inches taller, but uh, then your drill pipes you can use over and over and over. They're not so long that you can fit them in a truck or a van or something and transport them. Um, but we'll kind of do uh, just a final walkthrough in a little bit, but that's it. Alright, so just to recap, now that we have finished digging our parallel wells, um, a couple little things that might help um, anybody else do this, because it went very well but it took a little longer than we thought, and a lot of it was just figuring out some issues. Um, I know I said it a couple times, but the pipe grease on all the threads helps a lot. Um, I thought this pool we picked up would be a good idea, because um, it holds like a thousand gallons. However, if I was to do this again, um, a very large trash can or something would probably work better. It just takes so much water um, to get the uh, hose completely submerged and surprisingly I thought we would uh, be moving a lot more water than we did but the pump we kept the throttle pretty low the whole time um, just pushing that much water down the hose and with the resistance of drilling um, it it really worked the motor and it didn't want to um, it didn't want to run that hot so um, lower throttle um and then a trash can or something for water been way easier um take your time 
the pipe might stick a bit and if it does take off the drill head and try and back the pipe out a little and then reconnect the drill head and start drilling again um i already told you about how we changed the drill head so that the hose comes straight down off of it which got it right here but that's definitely it helps a lot and then when you use your hose clamps to attach everything use two hose clamps on each because it will want to blow off the top um, that happened quite a bit so just lots of hose clamps keep everything really tight go slow when the ground is soft um, it's gonna want to drive down real fast and that's okay um, we hit a couple layers of clay or what I'm assuming is clay and just up and down motions slowly let the water do the work it'll get through it um, but yeah it's definitely something you could do in an, in a day it'll take all day and one um, uh, well shaft would probably be fine we just one overkill and have plenty of water here but we'll see how the production is once we get it all pumped or all plumbed up and the pipe attached um and then make sure you have somebody to help you it's probably doable by yourself but it, it would be rough oh uh, but yeah everything's better with a friend anyway uh so yeah that's it thanks for watching if you got any questions just let me know and i'll give you the best advice I can. Um, we'll make another video on how to plumb everything up so you'll know what to do next. But thank you for watching and hope everybody's well. Bye.